Martha drops an atomic bomb. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is 1951, Allies Turn 6. Um, turn 6 for the Communists was very mixed. Probably more favored the Allies with the amount of losses that they took, especially here in their attack for Kiang C, where they both armies wiped each other out. Um, and in Europe, nothing really went right for the communists either. So we'll go into purchases. The U.S. is buying an infantry tank, two tech, a heavy tank, and two jets. NATO is paying off the damages to the Southern Italy factory, buying a minor factory for South Africa, three heavy tanks, and a fighter. Sato is getting three tanks to put on that Kiang C um, factory. They're doing two to two tech dice and then two transports and an artillery. Okay, so for tech, Sato is once again trying to go for heavy tanks. And they still can't get it. Every time. And then the United States is still going to go for their advanced R&D. Gotta try and get a way to unlock like B-52s so our bombers have an even better advantage in the bat in fighting. <laughs> Just can't get it. But uh, can't remember off the top of my head who makes the B-52s. So I guess we're just having some trouble there. All right, we'll uh, we'll be right back and we'll get rolling on some attacks. Okay, so going over the attacks this turn, an American NATO effort is going to move in and attempt to liberate Spain. A NATO bomber is going after the Paris factory. Two NATO bombers are going for the Belgian factory. The Shafe, Ar the Shafe Army or Shafe Army is moving into Warsaw and will be supported by two of the two American bombers from Norway. And then only other engagement is over here off of the Russian Pacific coast. The, well, there's also an attack into Hokkaido and then a battle for, against the Russian fleet. So as always, we'll just start on the Pacific side because we're already over here. So let's back up a little bit. Okay, we'll start with the fleet action. Transports that will get a get a defense of one. However, this however this battle looks pretty well decided. The Russians are not going to scramble their jet for the attack. All right, so the Allies two for two. Oh, well, okay. Well, we'll just. Take the two Chinese transports out. Then four for three. Oh, and that's it. All right, so they roll one for one. Miss, and two for two. Okay, well, we got the NATO, the NATO destroyer, but everything else got lost. Okay, so we'll put the fleet back. Oops. And we'll just immediately land the two aircraft back on the carrier. Yep, they'll go on. Okay, then the attack in Hokkaido. Yeah. Okay, so we got two for two. S and one for three. Hit. Rolls and 
misses. All right, so Sato has reclaimed. Sato has reclaimed Hokkaido for the Americans. And that is it in, so that's everything in the Pacific. Yep, so now we'll go over to Europe. First we'll, let's see here. Oh, I also forgot that this small NATO group is also going to attack Aus uh, Slovakia, hung Hungary. So let's, let's do the two um, air raids, so be the air raid for Paris. One anti-aircraft gun. Makes it. Bomber damage. Mm, a full six. So that is a full six damage to that one. Okay, and then the two bombers that are going after Holland, Belgium. One bomber safe, two bombers are safe, and they will theirs for a grand total of max damage. Okay, so both factories were hit for max damage. Real quick, so those. Two, three. They'll come back to Norway. He will go back to southern Italy. Okay. Next we will do the battle for Slovakia. That anti-aircraft gun is over here. So it's an infantry and a mech versus an infantry and two heavy tanks. So NATO infantry misses and the two heavy tanks. Scored two hits, and the Russian defenders scored no hits, of course. Like clockwork. All right, so Slovakia, Hungary falls to a NATO force for two. battle for Poland. Get that onto the battle board. There's an AA gun, so the two American bombers will have to try and safely make their way through. Oops. And there is more than enough. So there's four artillery pieces for three NATO infantry. And then the Russian defenders. Two infantry. Three tanks. And then three jets. Yep. Okay. All right. So first the AA guns against the the American. Bombers. Hmm, okay. Alright, so NATO has three, four, seven for two. One, two, three. Miss. And they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for three. It's one. It's three. Okay, yep, that's all the Russian defenders. All right, so two for two. One. Two for three, one, and three for four. 
two. Well, let's see here. All right, so that means Poland has fallen. Clear the battle board quick. So, yep, Poland has... Poland has been liberated by the Allies. Well, and that anti-aircraft gun is gone. So NATO will secure Poland for two IPC. And then our final assault into Spain. And then the two American bombers from the Poland fight will retreat to, oh, we'll head back to, um, we'll go back to Norway as well. So we'll get them up there at their new bomber base up there. Oops. attack on Spain. Okay, so American infantry artillery, count one, and the two NATO tanks. Wow, they both missed. All right, the two Soviet tanks, both missed, and that Soviet tank is going to retreat. He survives. So he will retreat up into Normandy and because let's see here and because there is an equal amount of NATO to US um, units we will just roll to make it fair we'll just roll to see who gets it so Odds, NATO, even the United States. Okay, so it is the United States who will now lay claim to Spain. And we'll get a U.S. control marker. And now that's a relief for the U.S. because now they have a factory. If they now have a factory on mainland Europe. And they don't have to worry about sea lift anymore. All right, so we'll just go right into the non-combat. So this force is going to take these two, drop them off in Spain with that 10th Army group. Got a... So now this is the force that we're looking at in Spain. Two infantry and artillery and three tanks. Okay, and that destroyer is coming over. This transport is coming back. Okay. And this transport is going one, two. Mm, yeah, we'll have them sit out there. Okay, in Europe itself, we won't change anything else. We won't change any of our dispositions in Europe right now. Um, yeah, well, no. We need to get these three out, or these two out. So these two fighters are going to go one, two, three, and they're going to head back to southern Italy. Okay, then over in the Pacific... Not much, really, just he's going to come and drop these guys off here. One, two, three. Wait. Yeah. 
because they, that doesn't have, yeah. One, two, three, four. I land there. Um, this transport is going to go back and join the home fleet here off of China. Looking for the U.S. over here. Um, these two transports in the east or on the west coast are going to come up. Bringing along two infantry and two tank to add to the to add to the first army. Um, then two of the transports are going to come back to the to the United States. Um, this is going to go one, two, three. Pick up the NATO infantry. One, two, three. Drop them off. So now NATO has a presence in. Some Canadian forces have presence in um, Russia now. And that is that's it for non-combat. So um, deployments, like I said. So the three um, Sato tanks are going to deploy in Kiangxi. These two transports. And artillery are going to drop here in the Philippines. Over here, NATO is dropping the miner in South Africa. The fighter is going to drop in Britain. These three heavy tanks. I'm actually going to build, I'm actually going to marker the NATO army in the north now. The NATO Army in the north. Actually, we're going to reflag. We're going to reflag a couple things here. So, the Shape Army in Poland is going to be re redesignated as the Army of the Rhine, and their forces will move over there. And the Shape Army will be constituted up north in Murmansk. So we'll put all the all the British units there onto the new shape marker on the shape board. And then like I said, then this factory is going to get repaired and put back. It will be able to be used next turn. All right. So those are the deployments. Just kind of like a quick scan of the board. I mean, NATO's doing pretty well keeping those Russians bottled up in the rear and allowing their army to push forward. So, unfortunately, it looks like this is going to be the end for Russia. It started out real strong, but just, and you guys have seen it along the way, just bad rolls have just not been their friend at all. Same with a lot of, the, a lot of these fights. All right, so at the end of the turn, Sato is getting 29 plus their... Diploma, their war bonds of two, so they're only getting 31. NATO and the and NATO and the United States are both collecting 59. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this time around. Um, until next time, take care.